Well, Hello. I don't I don't know if you can hear that sweet hum behind us right now. Of the highway? No, that's our window oh, air, air conditioning <laughs> unit that we're going to have throughout the duration of the summer here on the farm. So, very excited about that. Oh yeah. So sorry about the stark contrast of lighting going on right now. Cole just cut his hair and his head's nice yeah, and Yeah, boy, shiny. do I look bald right now. <laughs> <laughs> There's a ton of beautiful hiking in southern Missouri um, in the Ozark Mountains, as they're called. Also known as the Ozark Plateau. Okay. Um, it's actually <laughs> the largest highland region between the Appalachian Mountains and the Rocky Mountains. I really just wanted to point out that this was recorded before we had any subscribers on YouTube. It was before we'd posted a single video and you know our whole goal of this channel has just been to present our most authentic selves to you guys and uh, we know that many of you would just enjoy the journey and uh, like us for being us regardless of how much Cole cusses on camera. and. I'm just excited that you guys have decided to subscribe and be here and just really appreciative. So I really hope you enjoy our top secret favorite hiking spot in Missouri. That is no longer a secret, so let's stop calling it a secret. Enjoy. Bye. So I kind of freaked out last night and Monica hated me for several hours. I just can't imagine what would happen in an actual emergency. So let me tell That's you what all. let me tell you what happened. Okay. So when we got home from working on the bus, well really when we were driving home, I could feel something in my eye and I've had like large like much larger pieces of rust in my eye throughout this build process and there was like this almost pinpoint piece of rust that was staying stationary like right next to where the color of my eyeball starts and I couldn't get it to like move or like go away and it just became like really bothersome to me because it felt like I had a hair in my eye or just something small in my eye and usually I'm really good at getting stuff out of my eyeball Cold body was gonna have to go to the emergency room. Monica's like, you just go to like the eye doctor. I'm like, what? Like your local eye care place? Unless, like, unless your eyeball is hanging out of your face, you just go to the eye doctor. Like I'm we'll fix it. Like, are they actually doctors? That's my question. I always just yes, thought. Of, well, I mean, yeah, they are trained to like drill into your eyeball if they have to, like they did to my dad to get something out of his eye. Like a shard, like he had a splinter in his eyeball. I'm just, I'm not educated like that. <laughs> sorry, so I'm you sorry. you believe me when I'm telling you. This morning, I still felt it in my eye when I woke up. Uh, walked into the living room. I swept like some, like my finger through my eyelid and it must have shifted throughout the night um, with like my eye watering and I got it out. I'm so happy. Crisis averted, guys. Thank God. She's so proud of me. Did you tell them where we're going today? Um, I don't know if I've mentioned it. Um, it's a secret hiking spot, but we'll tell them. We can tell you that anyone that watches our vlog deserves it. It's a secret hiking spot, but we are going to Arcadia, Missouri. Um, it's along a creek that's really beautiful and it's got bluffs on both sides and it's like one of the prettiest areas of Missouri that I think I've ever seen. gonna check out the road ahead to make sure that we can make it up to where like the initial like there's kind of a parking area and usually a fire pit um, up ahead near where the trail starts but I don't know if we're gonna be able to make it up there or not. 
This is why the next vehicle that we're getting will be four wheel drive. Four wheel drive and probably a Jeep Cherokee. I'm like <laughs> clenching my butt cheeks <laughs> trying to like just stay in the seat. <laughs> And then magically it just opens up to this nice flat property where we can park on. I'm gonna figure out how to get the bus down here. That's gonna be one of my goals. Even if I have to like lay in gravel myself. I wanna make that happen. Yo, we got potato sticks. They were at one dollar. What a fucking bargain. Yeah, like those should be priced any higher. <laughs> <laughs> We're also hearing the birds for like the first time since fall. We got up this morning and the birds were chirping. I like forgot that that was a thing that you hear in the morning. <laughs> it's really nice. You can make a uh, pine needle tea. Saw that on YouTube. Yeah, you can actually, you actually eat pine needles if you guys didn't know. They kind of no. just taste like citrusy. Not all pine needles too. You should make sure you know which pine ne needles you're eating. So this is the trail marker, the trailhead marker. We've never gone that way before. I don't know what uh, that, what's that way, but there's some kind of trail over there. But uh, I was supposed to stay left here. We haven't started hiking yet. Monica lost her hat. So we're going back towards the car. So pine needles, just as an extra fun fact, they're actually very high in vitamin C. So, that's cool. Crisis averted. I even checked for it. When we walked away, I was like, oh good, my hat's gonna stay on. As a side note, it is Super Bowl Sunday, actually. And, one, we don't give any fucks about the NFL, because they're racist as fuck. But we thought this would be really cool that no one would be out here hiking today because everyone's probably going to be watching the game even though it's garbage. So this is the uh, trail marker. <laughs> I think that's what it's supposed to be is an arrow. It is. I remember it being... Sometimes it's just a, what do they call it, a carn? A cairn? I don't know. A pile of rocks. There you go. better. We've been here, what, like four, what? I think our fourth time. Maybe our, our fourth time, and then I've been here once with a friend that you weren't here. Learned a lot of lessons on this trail, haven't we? One of the lessons being, uh, don't bushwhack too far. And then, uh, oh god, always wear a hat. <laughs> What? Don't follow too close. Yeah. Cause shit will like whip back and hit you. But yeah, the bushwhacking one was like one of the worst times because we just went too far cause we didn't know how far the, like the trail went. And then the sun was like about to set behind the bluffs and we were like, shit, we need to go. It's really easy to forget that, um, Bushwhacking takes you like three times longer to get anywhere. Three times, for sure. Yeah. This probably looks like pretty boring to most people, but I promise it's going to be gorgeous once we get there. All right, I'm going to do a quick shout out to Editage, which is the microphone brand that we've been using for the last couple of vlogs. Obviously, we're not sponsored because we're nobodies currently, but... Man, our vlogs have been night and day difference in audio quality just from mic rubbing and ambient noise. So I really appreciate you all sticking through for the first part of our vlogs as we get going out the gate. I've been making videos and films now for 12 years, but this vlogging game is uh, completely different than anything that I've done previously. So adaptation has been key and I know how important audio is. What I love about this part of Missouri is that there's these gigantic amazing pine trees. They're cute. They're so big and so pretty. We are out of shape. <laughs> uh, 
the trail's just weird here because like hardly anyone comes here so it's like the traffic is very light and it kind of fades in and out and when there's all these leaves it's always like uh is this the trail <laughs> i don't really know it's pretty moss i'm obsessed with moss all right we're reaching this really gorgeous spot that i love the perfect amount of sunshine and shade and water over here to make this oh my god it looks so cool right now so nice i love this noise let him hear that noise This is the point where you kind of like, just kind of opens up and it's pretty incredible. Ooh, wow, that water. Freezing? Yeah. This frozen ice water. I mean, it is. Melted ice water, I mean. It is near darn at freezing point. <laughs> you guys, just look at this. So basically what we do here is just kind of stay along the side of the creek. Uh, at some point you kind of have to like hold on and billy goat on the side of these cliffs here up up ahead. Yeah, that's a good point. Cole, <laughs> Cole was saying, luckily this side, the right side had is getting all the sun and everything melted because there's a ton of ice on the other side over there. And this rock and, is so slippery. Yeah, the rock gets really slippery and... Um, I Typically, yeah, Cole, I've, Cole forgot. Cole fell down last time. Um, typically, we stay on the right side of the creek because there's kind of a trail that fades in and out. It's a bit scary. It is, just because you don't know what's slippery and what's not. <laughs> I just love this rock so much. It's like pink and gets kind of purple when it's all wet. And just set up it's chill. camp for a minute and just chill out. Maybe eat my PBJ. I was just going to tell the people that this is where you told everyone that you proposed to me. Yeah. So <laughs> my, ma <laughs> my made up proposal story yeah. is that at the campground at Monica, my favorite spot with no one around, I just went ahead and did it and I decided not to take video of it or make it a big deal and just have it a moment between us. So this this does mean a lot to me, this place, because it is is somewhere that I really love because I always feel really connected to nature and Monica here. Yeah. At least within like a day traveling distance of her home, this is my favorite place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the part that's so slippery. Like my foot is like just gliding. So we have to be really careful here. <laughs> but it's like this whole rock face is just melty water. So this is where you kind of have to hold on. You can go up and like over this, but it's honestly more sketchy than just holding on. Cole's getting stuck on his tripod here. Nice. <laughs> Look at these little baby waterfalls. I don't think we've been here where, when it's been like flowing this much. Maybe not. Look at this water, oh my God. It's amazing. Hi. 
Now we're just like in the woods because there's no rock um, along the side of the creek, so you kind of get pushed over here for a while. Look at this blue water. Yowza. Pretty cool. That's pretty. Starting to get those tall hills going on now before the canyons. Yeah. I don't really remember how far up away. it is. The worst part about this trail right here, excuse me, I have the hiccups. Um, this is all just really loose rock, just like waiting for you to break your ankles. So you do have to be really careful because like we're out here and there's no one else. So <laughs> you'd be pretty fucked. Did you forget your deodorant for this? Yeah, I uh, have learned that, you know, putting like deodorant on before going outdoors tends to mostly attract insects. So I'm a little ripe right now. <laughs> He's a little stanky. I wish these goddamn hiccups will go away. Truth is, we never really know where the hell you are on this trail, so we have no fucking clue. I think Cole thinks this one is it, which it probably should be because this hill is super steep. You see it? Well, you can see it. This is the same stuff we were looking at last time, so it's coming up here. Boy. Here it is, guys. You know, it's not exactly like epic, but <laughs> it is like the most ideal camping spot that I think I could ever ask for. With the cathedral walls and the free pots. Yeah. Oh, there was a Tupperware container, but oh, it's just kind of broken up. There's like some Ooh. camping things here. That would have been good. There's a rusty can opener back here. I'm gonna hike this out. Don't take it. Go pop a squat on there. <laughs> it's perfect. How them potato sticks? They're really good. I think I needed some salt in my life. fixing the fire pit building it up a little bit so it's really shady I'd love to be here in the morning which is why we really want to come camping here sometime but um this water is so nice and blue, and it would be incredible to just wake up to the sound of the stream, be somewhere beautiful. We did it. Built a little fire. Little fire. Don't just, worry, guys. We have our water bucket for safety. It's really wet right now. Yeah, it is super wet, the ground is, and pretty much all of these sticks that we're putting in here are wet. Burn my hair. It's very smoky. Cole's out here in the wilderness doing some dishes. Just send me out in the woods and do dishes, apparently. It's all thanks. How did he know exactly what I was thinking? This is what we've been up to. Been cleaning up this campsite. Clean up the campsite. This is all trash. The last four times we've been here, there's been this like really shitty plastic container with just yeah. very minimum camping supply in it. Yeah, there was like a big Rubbermaid container. And it's not and it's, a Rubbermaid container anymore. No, it was all broken up. So we chopped it up into pieces and we're going to hike it out. And then we'll leave and, the other plates in pot. Yeah, we'll leave this stuff. Um, we'll probably just try to fit it all in this pot here. So... All right, guys, we are going to head out since the sunset beside behind us, so. 
I let myself get a little too dehydrated. I almost blacked out once. <laughs> I didn't tell her. Fun. I mean, we could end the vlog here, too. Yeah, we might shoot a little bit on the way out, but, like, I've got this tr large trash bag attached to me. And we're hiking out some more plastic. And we're hiking out with this bag, so it's going to be kind of hard to vlog, but... Ultimately, we wanted to do this because this is going to be the type of stuff we're going to be doing on the road. Yeah, a uh, little, probably a little bit more exciting. <laughs> yeah, you know, cool places, but, like destinations, small towns, yeah. like, we're really excited to start exploring with y'all. Yeah, see you next time. Peace. Bye. Monica's such a good Samaritan, hiking out all that trash. Click on the next video. Come on, we're waiting. <laughs>